Why, hello there! Welcome to part two of my DKC, aka Donkey Kong Country, playthrough. We are headed into the Monkey Mines as we hit, as we start with Winky's Walkway. Winky, what a name! Who's Winky? All right, now we're now we're seeing some more extra, some more unique levels here. We got some mine levels here. There is one level in this one that I just can't stand. Use these birds, jump on here, and we get a frog. He's Okay, he jumps really high, which is nice. But, um, he, that's all he does is jump, really. He doesn't really walk. There's a bonus stage for you. Don't worry, if, if you go to a bonus stage and you, and you have an animal and you lose him in this bonus stage, like he, or he doesn't come with you, he will be there when you leave the bonus stage, I think. So don't really worry about that. But there he's with us, because he's supposed to be. Sometimes, he, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. And Winky killed the bee. Winky can kill bees too. On oh, and here is one of the special animal mini games. Here is the ostrich. I, his name slips me. My recommendation is get as many of these as possible before you go all the way to the left, because because over to the left there is a really really cool bonus. A plus times two, and all 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 the animal bunny but mini games here have it. So just pay attention to your time. And now the timer doesn't work all the same in all of them. Um, Ostrich, Rambies is like stupidly fast for some reason. I, I never really understood that. But now we're gonna go over there, and I'm I am messing up badly. I might run out of time. There we go. And every hundred. Uh, ostriches you collect is a one up, so again, this is a great one up uh, point if you get the three things. And by the way, those three to those tokens respawn the level, so you can go back to each level and get them and just absolutely go crazy with one ups if you want to. If you're struggling with the game and you need a bunch of one ups, honestly, this game is pretty easy. And, and you, it, it's gonna be tough to if you, if you get the one ups until later on, I would say it's pretty tough to game over, honestly. And I say that, I guarantee I'm going game over at some point. This game isn't too bad once you get the controls. I would say, based off of my recollection, DKC2 and even 3 are a lot harder. DKC2 especially seems brutal. Um, so... But now it's Minecart Carnage. Now, if you're going to game over, it's going to be on one of these stupid fucking levels. I died to this one about three or four times in my test playthrough, and I hated every second of it. There's gonna be down carts you gotta avoid, and then and then Kremlins are gonna be coming coming towards you that you have to avoid. It's nerve wracking, you know. You have to time your jumps well. Right now, it's not so bad. Okay, you have to jump there. I didn't think you have to jump. My bad. Oopsie. All right, so now we will not suck, preferably. I think it's after the midway point that the obstacles start. Here it's just, you know, basic minecart platforming. If you can call that basic. Um, so yeah, so lesson learned there. Don't just assume you can make something with with not jumping. You probably should still jump. Uh, I would definitely recommend not grabbing the Kongs letters. That's, that's not a good idea. There is our checkpoint. Now we're going to start seeing some obstacles come. Like this guy right there. You run into that, you lose a Kong. And be careful, because your Kong will jump... I jumped there. Your Kong will jump out, and if you're not paying attention, he'll jump completely to his death. Which is admittedly hilarious, and I found that out as well in my test playthrough, but it's also frustrating. The hitboxes are a little bit weird on them, so you don't want to be, like, right up against it, but you don't want to short your jump too much either. Like, oh my god, I got lucky there. Sorry, there's our, there's our crumbling thing. There's a one up. I'd recommend getting that because you're going to die a lot in this stage. When you went your first time playing. I mean, I've already died twice, so. You just jump over those crumbling. Don't jump on them because you will get hurt. They are indestructible, basically. Uh, follow the bananas when you can. Bananas will not leave you astray. This is not Kaizo Donkey Kong Country. I'm sure that's a thing somewhere. Give me one more at the end. And we're done. We're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
Now we're going to Bouncy Bonanza. So we got this guy here. Another one of these mine levels. Uh, barrows will kill these bees as well. So that's useful. We'll take this guy here. I got... I feel like I got lucky. That was a very dumb decision on my part. I think there's a bonus down there. Just took the barrel down there, but... But yeah, if you want 101% this, because it's not 100%, it's called 101%, uh, you have to get all the bonus rooms, so keep that in mind. And you have to be every level, too, which I think you basically have to do anyway. Uh, you want that, you're going to take the tire with you. I'd recommend it. Uh, I should take the tire with you here if you want uh, something special. I think it's a bonus area. That's a fake wall. Oh, it's for the end. Luckily, there's a DK barrel right there. So, if you're dumb like me, you can take a pretty stupid hit. And there's a bonus right here. Now we get Winky again. Winky showing up for the second time in this in this world. They like Winky in this world. They like their Winky. Four jump is four. Honestly, that's probably how I die more often than anything. Uh, is just making some really really poor jump poor jumps. Uh, this is the down below. There, be careful. There's two bees here. Um, in this bonus stage, you can actually just get by jumping up here. If you want Winky. I don't know if you should take Winky or not, but if you, you know, why not? He's useful for against the bees. Little bees. All these tires, by the way, I haven't really mentioned this yet, but the tires, you have to jump. If you don't hit the jump button on them, you don't jump, you don't get the extra height. That's going to be useful. I disagree with that. I think I should have made that. That was a little frustrating. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. The good news is these levels aren't exceptionally big so you know you can get back to where you were pretty easily and and, and they have a pretty generous typically a pretty generous uh, checkpoint in each level so you don't have much to worry about and if you wonder how long the game takes uh, not very I did it again You know, once you get the hang of this game, this game doesn't take exceptionally long to beat. I mean, I was about halfway through uh, my test playthrough, and I was through about half the worlds. Don't go by the percentage, because that doesn't quite... Bonus stage. That doesn't quite work. Now, this is what I was talking about. So right now, you don't have Rambi Rhino. Uh, that's a nothing bonus stage, though. But once you leave, Rambi's there. But here we are already at the exit, so no big deal. All right, next stage is stop and go station. Now this one, uh, there is some unique Kremlins here. Those guys with red eyes are indestructible and they're fast. You have to hit, hit those barrels that say go. Otherwise they are fast and they will hurt you and they're not fun. Like I said, you can't. You can't beat them. And they are stupidly fast. Get that O, by the way. You have to use uh, Diddy Kong's trick here. Where you can jump after his cartwheel. It's bizarre. But it's something that you can do. 
We're gonna have to use that. Do not dilly dally in this level because of the no, uh, you know, I kind of like a no shit moment. But this is probably the hardest part of the stage. Not to take a hit. That guy stayed down. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Ah, yeah. That was a mistake. Keep your tire with you. That was... I panicked. Not even gonna lie. That was, that was pure panic. That was pure, unadulterated panic. What? Oh, I disagree with that hitbox. Got a little screwed on that. I would say with the clap tracks, clap, clap traps, that is kind of the like biggest problem with them. We're good. There's our extra one up that we lost. All right, again, I would go to candy here. Always go to candy. Always. And save. All right, here's Funky's Flights. I will show this off now just to show it off. So you go in here and you go into his barrel and you can uh, just go back to whatever level you want, you know? and. and here we only got two choices. You can go back to Congo Kong Jungle if you want. It's just a quick way of doing it. And then, you, and then inside there, you can go to any level you want. But that's that's all Funky Kong is. If you want to go and, and if you want to get bonuses or something, it can be useful for that, honestly. But if you're just going through this game like I am, it's not overly useful. This stage. Kinda sucks. Oh, well. Is it this one? Yes. There's a free bonus stage for you. Or no, it's not a bonus stage, but you hit this and you get a tire. And there's a free bonus stage that I took a hit for. All right, you have to hit the blinking liar. You're spelling rare. And are you spelling rear? All right, well, I fucked that up. You get a TNT barrel, unless there's an indestructible enemy. You probably want to use it to find a... Uh, a secret area, or bonus area. <laughs> Alright, so the Kongs themselves. So DK is slower, he's heavier, he throws his barrels in an arc, but he can defeat some enemies. But most people, and I think understandably so, prefer Diddy because of his agility. Again, we're playing a platforming game, that makes sense. Come up here, and you get Winky again! Uh, I took a hit there, I don't know if it was worth it, but... I lost Winky. Watch out for this guy, that guy throws it in three different directions. Oh, this is fun. Oh, bye Winky. Nice knowing you. Oh, oh my God! The snakes. Do your rolls and your and your. I I screwed up because I didn't use my rolls and my and my cartwheels properly there. I I, I will 100% admit I tend to forget about them more than I should. Um, that is one of my biggest. My biggest flaws in this game is not paying attention, paying attention to my roles there because there you kind of have to. Ooh, man, I got kind of lucky there. And uh, just 
Let's run through past that guy. I think that happens to me. I think that happens to me every time playing this stage in, in my. Alright, have an asshole. So we'll just do that. And you're fine. That jump with Winky is almost impossible. That was a really, really dangerous play. If you keep Winky there, you can get to a bonus stage down there. Anytime you see like a banana in the pit, it's probably gonna lead to something like a bonus stage. Alright, but now there's Cranky, he's telling us something I don't care about, and now we're doing Neki's Nuts. Um, okay, Neki here takes uh, another five hits. He throws nuts at you, they will hurt you. Like that. Oh, you just hit him a few times. Oh, I got the six times. Oh, that's a that kind of a bad spawn wake up in the corner there. It's a bit risky, but... But he's down like James Brown because he's easy as shit. As we got another level down, as we head our make our way into Vine Valley, and that will be our next part, part three, because part two is finished. Thank you for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe below, and let me know what you guys think. Until next time, everybody. Deuces.